Hey everyone, this is Ronnie coming to you here with my video number 77 in the one video a day for 100 days video challenge with the Internet Lifestyle Network. And actually, based on the video I sent out yesterday on Sunday and based on a few of the other things that I've talked about, is that whenever you come to, like I did this morning, this Monday morning, is how can you keep staying in focus? So let's talk about that today. So no matter what you need to stay focused on, it's very important and very critical that you decide how you're actually going to reach that position. And most of the things that is easy to understand is if you put uh, three things in the three pillars or in, in, in three stable uh, points. You know, if you think about the first thing you need to have when you actually make sure you want to go for something that you really want to strive for, you want to go there, you want to get it, you really need to, to, to shape it up and, and start being all that about where you want to go with that. How, wh where's your goal? Where's your end position? Where do you want to, where do you want to end up being whenever you finish this, uh, this uh, uh, challenge that you have? So the first thing is that you actually really go and get laser focused on what you want to do. You have your target and you need to be laser focused on that one. And this is something that is very critical. You need to train yourself to do. You need to uh, keep on focusing on. And most of the things, most of the time is actually that you, you sometimes people are, are tend to have a focus or a goal in life that is huge. But most important thing for me is that you actually sort of squeeze it into something that really could be laser target. So instead of shooting with a hunting gun where you actually spread your shot, you need to shoot with a rifle. So you need to have like one shot, one bullet, and it, you aim and you hit right clear at the focus. So these are the things you need to think about when you need to one First thing, need to be laser, target, and focused. The second thing you need to make sure that you have, second thing is actually make sure you have the, the tools that you need. I mean, this could be that if you want to know where you want to go, if you want to have, if you're on a boat, you want to sail somewhere, you need to have a navigation tool, so you need to navigate where you want to go, otherwise you actually are flicking back and forward and you never know where, you, where you're actually ending up being. So the other thing you need to do here is actually have a map so you know where you're actually going. So the tool can actually also be a mentor or a system or a, a tutorial of where you actually want to go, like a training sessions, sessions that you need, steps you need to follow. Uh, actually, if you sort of hook up on the back of a company that probably have a plan where you actually just follow the plan step by step, this is the tools that you need, the mentor and the map actually to get to your goal in your light laser focus. The analogy with the gun is actually okay, you need to have you need to have the rifle, you need to have an aim on it that really are focused, that is put in place and adjusted. And you also need to have a bullet inside, you need to have loaded the gun, otherwise you don't have the tools to bring the bullet towards the target. So this is just an analogy again with the with the shotgun or with the with the with the with the rifle. The third thing you, you actually need to make sure is that when you have that aim and that target. I mean, if you are aiming on what you, where you want to go, and you can sort of get some conflict of interest. This is the most, most of the time is actually, you know, the mechanics, like, you know, the target you want to know where you want to go, and the tools, that's the two things. That's the 20% of the mechanics, but 80% is in the psychology. So you might have the tools and the, the aim and everything ready, but the 80% of the psychology behind getting there is where your mind can actually sort of trigger you. Most of the time when people fail and actually get fear of actually failing, this is pretty much because they actually tend to have a conflict of interest and that are not in line with the action. So um, so things that you really want to make sure that, that you do is those three things. Get a laser target and make sure you know where you want to go and wrap it up with, uh, with, uh, with, with some tools and, and adjust it with some tools. Make sure you have that all in place. And then finally, make sure you actually have the right programming in your mindset. We talked about that in earlier videos. So you actually cannot get in conflict with anything. And should you have any conflict that would take, I mean, if you want to look for the sun, sunset, you don't want to look, if you're going east, then you have a problem, you know, for sure. So definitely you want to go west to have a sunset, otherwise it's difficult to find the sunset. So this is just a ex quick example of how you actually make sure that you keep staying focused. All the other things of tricks and tools and stuff you actually want to use to do that, it's all up to you to find them. But I mean, you can always reach out to me either on my YouTube channel and check some of my videos out. You can also go and join me into the Internet Lifestyle Network because inside Internet Lifestyle Network, we have this toolbox of guidance of where you want to go so you get all the tools in place 
And that at the end is just a matter of you to exactly trigger your mindset of making sure you don't get into much conflict to reach your goal because you are the only one who actually are in charge of where you want to go in your life. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my video from yesterday. It's a pretty darn good video and I want to, if you haven't seen it and you missed it, please go back and check it out. Ronnie signing off here for today, video number 77 in the video challenge. See you again tomorrow. See you on the internet.